Hello, my name is uh, John Kahekwa. I may, I was the head guide, head gorilla guide in Kozibiaga National Park from 1983 to 2003. Uh, so, in early 1980s, we had the dominant uh, vegetation in this area, which is called Urera Hypsolodendron. Now, um, we have seen from uh, decade to decade, we have observed a big change. Urera was the favorite food for the gorilla and for the elephants. The population of uh, leaves we have here are Mimilopsis excellensis, and the other one we can see opposite, hiking, covering the Miriantis tree opposite, are called Sericostachis scandens. The population of elephants we have in this area played a great role um, in uh, consuming uh, parasite vegetations, uh, like both vegetations. But um, after early 19, uh, no, the mid 1990s, during the beginning of the war, civilian war in DRC, um, the population of uh, elephants in this park was slaughtered, those fired on by um, armed communities, uh, faction armed and um, some of the governmental so plenty of those died and when they died we are now observing a big change on the vegetation we have less population of aurora hips or dendro and we have more population the density is very high of the mimilopsis excellensis and the sericostachis scandens so we are just observing these lianas are hiking and weighing on the tree, making fall down the tree. Many, many trees have been died. They died in this area. You see a lot of clearance. Uh, the area is becoming very clear. Unfortunately, also, this has become a secondary forest. It means it was a primary, then it became secondary. Now, this time it's dying. We don't see, we don't know about the future. Like uh, this time we are traveling, we can be traveling like 200, 300 meters without observing any urera, which is a favorite food for the gorilla. Uh, so, so the fruit trees are being killed by the climbing vine and the, the leaves that the gorillas like to eat are being s strangled by this uh, memulopsis. So what was good gorilla habitat is yes. now poor gorilla habitat. Yeah, it's now poor gorilla habitat. I think I witnessed this. I knew we've been here in the 1980s observing mm. the lot of density of uh, the, 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 the vegetation for the gorillas. Now, see here, if we can uh, just try to measure how, how many meters from left to right, where is any food of the gorilla? We don't found any. Yeah, because they, they, they have been um, strangled already by, by the mimilopsis we have here. Mm. But the elephants have just been seen for the first time in many years in the mountain sector. Um, I wonder if the numbers pick up. We might see a return to... No, the number is not picking up. You know, um, from uh, three, 450 or 350 elephants lived in between mountain gorilla, uh, mountain Kahuzi and Mount Biega. Um, they were reduced to under, maybe I estimate, to be under I expect them to be maybe under 20 individuals. You can think, possibly there are three different possibilities. Probably they are the under 20 individuals are all old male, old individuals. They cannot reproduce. Another topic is possibly they are all males. It's difficult for them to reproduce. Or another possibility, they are all females. So genetically also, it is a, the population of animals, maybe under 30, 30, 30, will be difficult for them to reproduce. Mm. So it will take time. But uh, most of time, since uh, 1997, we've been tracking gorillas all over in this highland area of Kozibiega. We chanced, we started to chance to see them in the marsh, in the swamp. We have the down, downhill, we have the big swamp, which is called the Musisi. Musisi Swamp, 
and uh, it is a potential area for uh, potential now habitat for these uh, for these elephants for the small number of elephants they move in there year by year day by day always in the swamp in uh, since 2002 to 2003 I chanced to see their path once in the highland of these hills here mm. means the other time they are concentrated there since when they were short now the small number is always concentrated in the swamp so it may be that this habitat will not support so many gorillas in future it is possible it is possible because mm. you know the like let's say the bamboo forest is dying you remember the lot of a lot of bamboo we met uh, two kilometers from the park headquarters, Chivanga, before going to track the gorillas, we saw a lot of population of uh, bamboo. Now, from year by year, from decade to decade, the bamboo forest was decreasing, 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 decreasing from east to the west. Now, there are now small, very small population of bamboo too. Bamboo, um, and it is a favorite food for the gorillas mm. a, every year. So, we don't know. The bamboo is disappearing slowly, and the, the other vegetation is d disappearing. We suppose this to be a big danger for the gorillas in the future in this area. Thank you. Welcome.